what's up guys, Sanford here from Virtual Boomerang, coming right back at you with Hobo to Hero. Yes, another episode, can you believe it? I'm actually being on time, or actually productive with my videos. Or maybe not, maybe I've changed my mind by the time this video comes out. I don't know. And, well, you join me on the last uh, match before the winter break. As you can see, 8th of December 2017, not the next game, not till the 24th of February. Got a whole two months off. Obviously, I'll be planning to uh, schedule a few friendlies, give some of the uh, fringe players, or the bench players, as I like to call them, um, some game time, because I know a lot of them people are actually, actually moaning about it. Nevertheless, um, before I start, I'm going to quickly go to this guy. This is the guy I mentioned in the previous episode that I forgot to show you at the end of the video. Uh, Daniel Perv, or Perv, <laughs> it's a funny name. As you can see, he's three stars, potentially five-star player, and he's 19 years old, so that fills my under-21 quotient. He's got, you know, pretty good average potential stats there. A good bargain nonetheless. Anyway, we'll go back to the schedule and see where we were. Last time, you saw us draw... Nil-nil with Shindyar Targarvishte. Very boring, boring, boring match. Um, next match, we managed to win. FC Zalau. And it was away from home, which is fantastic. Although it started off pretty shockingly. In fact, 21 seconds on the clock. Octavian Drahihi, or whatever, I put him in the front. I didn't even, my team didn't even touch the ball. And we were like, okay, fine. But then after that, we just dominated. You can see you got 14 shots to eight, six on target to four. Very high stats, very high rating. Alan Goinia with two assists out of the three goals. Zombo Lukacs, Claudia Herrera, and Konstantin Dedu just making it so much easier for us. Started Laurentiu Savon Router. They actually did rather well. After that, we drew to UTA Batrana Doamnia. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. And another bore draw. Nil-nil. They had a player sent off, just like the last game. Andrew Rauter. Look at that defensive rating. 8. 7.1 for Sava. 7.4 for Princey. My defence, regardless of who's in there, Seem to do really well. Router clearly filling the massive boots left by Santos. And Sava is producing some great, great skills. Not bad for, a, I think he's 18, 19 year old. But from there, a couple of bookings. Guy sent off. We just couldn't dominate. He got sent off in the foot, right at injury time in the first half. And we dominated from there. We started off poorly. We actually was like nine shots to two. But then we just shot after shot. I was attacking overload. Just couldn't get the goal. Another clean sheet though. Nil nil. Then this was ugh, this was stupid. Yes, we were away from home, but we were away from home to Um and we was poor. The fact that we were fairly equal in a match against a relegation battling side. I think they were nineteenth, second from bottom at the time, and. Although Router gets another Man of the Match performance, our defence has just been wreaking havoc recently. Mariam Limbasan scores a good goal. Zombo Lukacs pulls one back before half-time. But we just couldn't get that final cutting edge. Just couldn't do it. And that was very disappointing. I had to go at my squad for that. But after that, or oh, just recently, we played at home, of course, Sepsi, who of course a few problems in the past, actually. In this season. But look at that. Man of the match. Andre Rauta. He actually scored. He scored the only goal of the game. We should have won it. He scored in the ninth minute. Uh, the, the, the the free kick from Dedu came came, uh, came to the box. Lucian, uh, Lucian Iron headed it right to the far post. And Andrew Rauta just headed it. I think it, he blasted it uh, across the face of goal. Beat the keeper. All ends up 1-0. Brilliant finish. And then it just sort of went really weird in the second half. Like, I got many, many bookings. <laughs> My God, I got many, many bookings. 
and we held off. I mean, look, we were very, very dominant against the 10th, 10th place side. Look, 13 shots, 3 on target, 7-2. to two. But they broke our hearts in the 89th minute. Attila had Nagy. It was a good goal, to be fair. But I, I was gutted. And then... <laughs> Lucian Iron. He is becoming a liability. Not only did he get a yellow card, he also decided to get himself sent off in the 91st minute when we needed him most. Ridiculous foul. Not as bad as Horea's in the previous you know, episode, but still pretty dodgy. Um, Lucian Iron, actually, is... Um, due to the league rules, I found out the league rules, um, after about nine yellow cards in the league, every yellow card after that is a one-match ban, which he would have got anyway from this. But he's had to get himself sent off and get banned anyway. So basically, any yellow card Lucian Iron gets now from now on, he'll be banned for the next match. I think we should probably impl implement that into the Premier League, you know, because that is solid. Ridiculous. But that does mean we have been unbeaten in the last seven matches, albeit only two of them wins. We are the consistent draw specialists, but our discipline record is a bit poor. I'm going to quickly go to the homepage and see how we're doing. As you can see, Jean Bolu is our top goal scorer. Santos, the man, the myth, the legend, is our highest average rating. He's obviously still very much injured. Uh, Dedu, top assist. Petro Ianita, 89% pass completion. Fantastic. Player of the awards, Ricardo Santos, Andre Nauta are super centre-backs. Most yellow cards, as you can see, nine. Lucy and Iron, which is ridiculous. And Patrick Princip has two red cards. And that, as you can see, puts us in ninth position. Pretty average place, but you can see we're quite close. One more win pretty much gets us near the playoffs, if not in the playoffs. And that's just... Great. But we're going to go ahead to the match now. Uh, see what we can do. Um, yes, Anita picked up his, f I think it was fourth yellow card. So he's only banned for one more. So he's banned for one match. Which means I can actually play the better in that position. Teodoricha. Fantastic. I and uh, Antosh probably could play. Uh, yeah, let him play. Uh, he's been mo I'm loaned him out or trying to loan him out because he's he can't get enough game time. He wants game time, which is just pure greedy to me. Um, Nika is getting some games. He's not scoring yet. Lukak's goals seem to dried up a bit as well. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going to keep battling. Um, I think uh, Superan and Rontea. That would be good. Fabulous. Stick him there. That's my OCD messing with me there. But I think... Keep it here, counter and structured. Get that nice defensive structure. Um, but we'll see how we get on. Um, hopefully we'll see a goal. You're not seen a goal, I think, in the last, possibly the last two or three videos. <laughs> I can only apologise for that. It's not really my fault. But hey-ho. But we're more than halfway through the league. But let's see if we can get into the... Wow, they've got th four subs. Just tackle everyone. <laughs> Going hard on everyone. Tackling hard, 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 hard. No, that would just be mean. Um, we're on a good run here. Yes, we actually are. Let's do that one. Let's get revenge. That was... Wow, thank you. But let's see if we go into the winter break with some good morale. Which, by the way, I've noticed the better, the happier my players are, the better they seem to perform. Ever since I had that team talk before the that game against the top of the league team, when I drew 2-2, I'd be after me to up, I've not lost... So morale is very much a basis of performance within this team. Voluntary have sat their manager in the last few weeks as well. So they might be, you know, gunning for some stuff. Papa Duke. Marinescu. Just get a tackle in. That's it. That's it. Just jockey. Close him down. Close him down. Who's out here? Literally no one. Ivanovici. Great name. Spahia, Komen. Oh, who's no? He's, he's been he's been left. He's been left. He's been left. That's it. Nice. Just boot it upfield. Beautiful. Run, run, you rather fast white man. Go. Oh, what a ball! Catch that. Oh, how slow could you possibly go? This is a really long highlight for what seems to be pretty much nothing. Heads up. Oh. 
<laughs> he got wrecked. Play on, says the ref. Ivanovici, close him down. Oh, no, it's going to be a goal. Shit. Ah, uh, did not want that. But we tend to start slow. Let's check the stats right here. Yeah, you see, they've got better possession, better shots. We're getting up, we're getting up, we're getting, we're getting good. Tackles, we said, we, wow, 87% tackles won. Tackling is just beast at the minute. Uh, but we'll skip this. We'll just go ahead right now and carry on. Um, I'm just going to encourage them. We need to we need to get some kind of some kind of result from here. Some kind of result would be good. A draw away from home would be pretty good. Um, but I can only hope. Our defence is not having a good day at the minute. Not this half, anyway. Well, that was poor. Yes, we're, un we're underdogs, really. Um, show me something else in the second half. Yes. Opposition, apply advice. Starts um, actually, no. Let's go to overview. Um, standard and flexible. Let's just pass this ball around. Let's just, just get out of our shape a little bit. Let's just not rush into things. Let's see what we can do. We're only one goal down. Plenty of room for improvement here. Going to make him do more. Demand more. Just a goal, please. For, for the viewers. For you guys. Just want a goal. No rush, guys. You know, we're getting some up there. We're getting, let's make a sub. Because nothing's happening in a minute and it's boring me. Oh, my God. Ugh. A bit of morale. Jesus. Let's bring Nika on. <laughs> um, Princeps bring Todorov on, I guess. Can we get team talk? Um, yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's good. What I'm going to do is go control structured. Get that defensive so we don't get so we don't get caught out in the back. Giggity. And We'll just see what goes happens here. I mean, it's gonna be one of those, if it's gonna be one of those boring live comms again, this is just ridiculous. Why is it? It's like the game knows I'm recording. Like, no, nope, no goals for you, no highlights for you. Your your viewers are gonna be annoyed with you for not giving them the entertainment they need. Well, fuck you, game. Fuck you. Let's encourage them one last time. I want to go all out. Fuck it. Let's overload the bastard for the last 10 minutes. Let's make a substitution. Last substitution. Let's see what we can do. Who can I bring off? Let's bring off Dedu for Gyogchuk. He seems generally okay with that. Dedu, not in the best game. Neither is Tudoricha, to be honest, but uh, at least he's getting some game time, which I didn't think he could to begin with. But what do I know? What are their formation? They have not changed. And we are second best. Oh, it's the thing. Oh, my God. That was close. That was a great shot, though. Just cut us wide open. I don't want, after seven games undefeated, to lose on a live con. This corner best be headed out by someone. You'll do. Don't go in here. That's it. Keep it in, mate. Just blast it. Clear it! That's it, that's it. Oh my god. Go, Antoche! Go, you clean through! It's clean through, he can't possibly miss. Antoche! As I have a go! Oh, what? <laughs> if there was no net there, the, f <laughs> the fat fanny in the pie in the, in the stands would have just had his head chopped the fuck off. That was insane. Look at this. Plasted this. Watch it. Keeper, heads up. Ooh! No keeper would have stopped that. That is a blast and a half. Well done, Atoshe. Iron, mate, you've got to just watch out. Watch out. A goal. We got a goal, though. And, again, not a loss. Well, unless something drastic happens here. Whee! Heske! And I think that is that. 1-1. One, one. You saw a goal, though, guys. You managed to see a goal. And Toshe with that belter. <laughs> be honest, another defensive display. Babu Chanu has just been absolutely, he's meant to be my second choice right back. He has been absolutely fantastic. I am going to praise them for that. I probably disagree with you, some people out there, but 
I don't really mind. I think they deserve that. Lukács, I might look might look to drop him in the next game. He's not been performing very well. But another draw <laughs> puts us up to eighth place. But look at this goal. Because we've only scored 21 goals. But also only because he did 20. So, swings and roundabouts, really. Anyway, guys, you, I will catch you at the end of the transfer window. Maybe I've bought. Maybe I buy some guys. Maybe I bring bring some guys in. I'm not looking to change change it too much. Maybe maybe some maybe bring blah, some youngsters in. That would be good. Develop our youth system. We need we need some of those youth players. But that was close, guys. So yeah, the first game back after the thing is CS Melveni on the 24th of February. So I will catch you guys then. Thank you very much, very so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a like, give it a comment. How did we do? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very so much. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye.